Left foot steps forward, grasp the sparrow's tail. Then ride the horse and turn to the left. Five fingers, reel the silk. Do you know what that sound means? That my seatbelt's not on. There. Thank you. It's on. Safety first. I'm gonna learn how to turn that thing off. <laughs> no! Yeah. Do we wanna be safe? All right, Mr. Go-Getter, what are we doing today? Go-Getter. You're just like on fire today. I get done with yoga and he's just like, we gotta do this, we gotta do this, we gotta get this done. Have oh. my head cut off as usual. Sorry, there you go. I was born in Canada, um, yeah. but I became an adult. <laughs> I became an adult in America, so I've never actually gotten my Canadian passport even though I'm a Canadian citizen and I'm an American citizen via my parents. So I have an American passport, but I'm going to go get my Canadian passport today uh, so that I have a little more freedom in life. And I've been putting this off for years and I'm finally going to do it today. Yeah. So we're driving so we can get a professional picture of himself for his passport. So I got all my paperwork filled out and... She's right. I can't just use a normal passport photo place. I gotta go get like professional ones done because the Canadian government's different, so. Mm -hmm. But we're driving right now and it is crazy windy out. Um, and it's like a dust storm all over. So hopefully you guys can check this out and see it. Which is called? Um, a haboob. A haboob. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's all dust over there. And then it's just very hazy outside, and normally it's very sunny. <laughs> Switching over now. Okay, so also, punch bug no return to the loop. Ow! Oh, Boom! <gasps> That's a cute bug, that really hurt. Ah. The storms are brewing. It's all around us. Are you super excited to go get your picture taken? Yeah, because I want to be a citizen of two countries. You're so fancy. Just lucky. You should have done your hair, babe. It's like so messy. Somebody cut it in the back, put a big Z in my throat. No, you're not going to get the back of your head. <laughs> yeah. So, no, like you said, no smile, absolutely no teeth showing. Okay. Perfect. Stuck in the car, waiting for Jake to get done talking with his brother. I think I've been out here for like a half an hour now. Just listening to NPR. <laughs> I just wanted to share with you guys how grateful I am for my life. I'm just so happy. I'm happy with everything. I'm happy with who I am and what I've become. I'm not the richest. Um, I don't have everything I want, but I mean, I do have everything I want. I have somebody who loves me so much and I love him and I have an amazing family that loves me and I love them unconditionally and that support me in everything that I do. I am doing what I love and that is just so exciting to me that I... I get to do what I love. So in my yoga class today, we were talking about life. How if someone is unhappy with their life and they're not liking the way it's going, then you have the power to change it. You, you are in charge of your life. No one around you is in charge of your life except for you. You have one life. Why not live it to the fullest potential? Why? Why be sad and unhappy and depressed? And I've been in that state of, un you know, depressed and unhappy and I found yoga. When you guys find that, that feeling of bliss and happiness, it's amazing. And I just, I encourage you guys to make 2018 an amazing life and to do what you love and what you're passionate about. And I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, like one day you're just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna do what I love and it's gonna come easy. It might, and that's wonderful, but if you really truly have a passion for what you love to do and you wanna make it happen, then be prepared to battle some hard things. Like you're gonna experience some things that are hard and you're gonna be broke and all this stuff, but if you keep going for what you absolutely love and what you have a passion for, the universe is gonna see that and it's gonna feel that and it's gonna be like, oh my gosh. 
we're gonna give this person what they want and what they need because they've been fighting so hard for it. And you're gonna see that and you're gonna realize that. So I'm just gonna leave it with that because Jake's gonna come back out. And I hope you guys deep down feel what you love to do and what your passion is. And I, I hope you guys go out and do it because you only get one life. And just make it count and make it beautiful. So guys, I stopped off here to get some vegan Asian food. We got vegan Vietnamese spring rolls with the fresh rice paper on the outside and the peanut sauce. And we got some beautiful tea right here with some pho coming, P-H-O, pho. Here's the herbs that I love to put in my pho, the lime, jalapeno, bean sprouts, cilantro. Usually there's some basil there as well, and I have a delicious pho for vegetarian goodness, including these mushrooms. Which I love so much. Hi right, guys, we're here on a very windy night. Late night gym sesh. Yep. Lots of wind, so if there's wind audio right now, sorry about that. We're not gonna show you guys our full workout, it's gonna be a future video where we show you guys Nicole's full routine and my full routine. But tonight we'll give you a brief sample. Yes. What part of the body are you work on today? Working on the arms. Arms, look at those guts. <laughs> I'm working on the legs and the abs. And you always start with some cardio, right? Yeah, I normally run. I'll run like two to three miles on the treadmill, which isn't my favorite, but well. And we always run from our apartment to the gym. Yeah. So we live like a mile away. It's so nice, I love that. Yeah. So you, you get to like bike or run. To run along Tempe Town Lake right there. Yeah, it's beautiful. And you're an amazing runner. I'm alright. You got a great stride. I love watching you. <laughs> Let's each show three things that we're doing tonight at the gym. Sounds good. Okay. Team Maceland. guys we just finished our workout it was awesome it was just a quick nighttime sesh now we're in the scary hallway now we're in the scary side hallway behind the gym <laughs> and we're about ready to go outside because we have to run home and it is like a downpour right now with some thunder and lightning and like crazy Here, check it wind, out. So. I mean you can see it against the light So, what do you think, babe? <laughs> Let's get to running. <laughs> All right. Peace out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Love you guys.
Babe, bonus scene. Holy You're crap. Soaked. Downpour. Holy moly, is it freezing. <laughs> Probably good for your skin though, right? Of course. When is the last time it rained here like this? A couple months. Yeah, months. I think we're a little wet here. Okay, it's raining outside. With my shaved head, you can't tell I'm wet anymore. I miss my hair. Oh yeah, mine's soaked. I love the rain, so. Me too, same. The wind, I can do without. And I've never seen you run so fast home before. <laughs> Over a 10 feet town lake bridge. Okay, the rain I could do, the wind, not my That's favorite. Tough. When we go to Europe, should I uh, just stop buzzing my hair and let it grow out? It's up to you. What do you want? Mm -hmm. <laughs>